Hello. Once again, welcome to my channel. This is Ajotech, and on this channel, we teach young beginners how to program, how to code, and then how to develop web applications. In this lesson, we are going to learn how to create a simple database using MySQL. We are going to use MySQL Webbench, and I will write SQL statement in order to create our database. After creating our database, we we'll create just a single table within our database and then we'll learn how to also insert record into that database so without much ado let's jump straight into action so the first thing i'm going to do is to create my database okay so i'm creating my database and i'm going to use the create statement so create database and i will not give the name to that database so let's say skydb skydb so this is the name of my database i'm going to execute this statement and i notice that this has been executed successfully meaning our database has been created we can check that by saying show databases this will actually give us the list of all the databases that we have within our system so let me run this and let's see Okay, so it has given me the list of the databases that I have. And you can see the Sky database which I just created is also among this list. For now, let's use our list, our Sky database, and then we can create a table within that particular database. So let's use the use statement. So use Sky DB. That is the database we want to work on. So I'll run this again. And I notice that this has also been executed. So we can also create, we can now work with the Sky database. So let's go ahead and create a database or a table, sorry, a table within this particular database. So I'll use the create table and then the name of my table will use this. So within my users I have now going to create, I'm now going to create columns within that particular table. So I'll go ahead and say user, I want to store the user ID. So user ID and this should be an integer and I want to make it also a primary key. So this is going to be a primary key, my user ID. And then also I want to make it an auto incremented. Anytime I set a new user automatically, it will increase by one. I'll also go ahead and also add a new column and I'll call this column user name. And the user name I'm going to assign data type of voucher so with voucher you need to specify the number of values which you store within it so this is username and i wanted to hold a value of size 80 and the last thing i mean i want to add will be the first name of the user first name and also this is going to be what voucher so the first name also going to assign a value of Okay, I think this code has been written nicely and I hope there's no error. So let me execute this and see. So this has been executed successfully. How do we describe or see the structure of our database or table? So I'm going to use the describe statement. And in this, I'll just call the name of my table, which is what uses. Okay, so use this. And let me run this to see the structure of my table. Okay, so I cannot see my table has been created successfully with my user ID column, which is an integer, and known at this primary key, and then auto, auto incremented. Since we have created our table, now we cannot insert records into that particular table. How do we insert records into that table? We use the insert keyword which is a key value insert sorry insert insert into so we are inserting into our users table we don't want to insert a value into user id because we are going to make it auto implemented so let's list the table or the columns we want to insert our values so i want to insert value into the username and then first name columns after i'm done 
I want to use the value key. You know, it's going to be the values I'm going to be set into that particular column. So the username column, I want to enter the value of what Timothy, that's my name. I will insert that particular into the username column. And then I'm also going to say first name. Let me just say first name is set. As simple as that. Set. Okay. So we can execute this particular code now and see what we've done. Let me run this. Okay. So this is successful. Then you can just go ahead and then I'll cut this. And then I'll now check if this record has been inserted successfully by using the select statement i want to select everything from that table and make sure that indeed my record has been added so i'll say select anytime you use the star keyword that means you are selecting everything from the table so select all from which table does use this and then we'll run this and see so indeed we have inserted that particular into our database let's try one more record and we can end this lesson remember you need to subscribe to this channel and don't forget to turn up the turn on the notification bell to get updates anytime we upload a new video so let me paste that code which i use instead of value and just change the name so let me see this is coffee coffee and then let's see the other name is um, okay, let's just say John. Huh. For the purpose of this, I'm just using random names. I'll run this code again. And then this code is also successful. We can go ahead and then finally check the records now. So, we will select, select the star again. We are selecting everything from users. And I'm going to run this code and let's show if I saw the record we have within our data. So you notice the user ID column is auto incremented. So anytime we add new user, we don't need to add any record to the user name. The user ID column, it will automatically be inserted into the records for us. Thank you so much for watching this particular video. I believe there's so much you learn on this channel by subscribing and don't forget to turn on the notification bell